Quoting from his writing, Now I will tell you what magnetic current is. Magnetic current is the same as electric current. Electric current is a wrong expression. Really it is not one current, there are two currents. One current is composed of north pole individual magnets in concentrated streams, and the other is composed of south pole individual magnets in concentrated streams. And they are running one stream against the other stream in whirling screw-like fashion, and with high speed. One current alone, if it be north pole magnet current or south pole magnet current, it cannot run alone. To run one current will have to run against the other. Ed says that all electrical currents are magnetic currents. They are dual magnetic currents of opposite polarity running in a bipolar fashion. It also states that the magnetic particles are faster than the speed of light because all light is produced by the restriction of the magnetic particles which slows the magnetic particles down and because all closed circuits have a potential difference which attract each other when there is only one polarity alone there is no attraction therefore no magnetic current flow. This time you will make an equipment that can be used for four purposes electric magnet, transformer, generator, and holder of perpetual motion. Ed is saying with his perpetual motion holder he can demonstrate an electric magnet, how a transformer works, how a generator works, and how the magnetic particles when ran in the proper geometry can circulate indefinitely in an orbit and power can be conserved and extracted at will at some time in the future. Bend iron or soft steel bar one and one half inch in diameter. Bend in a U shape each prong a foot long and three inches between the prongs. Make two spools from brass or aluminum six inches long and big enough for the bar to go in. Wind 1500 turns of insulated copper wire, size 16 on each spool. Put on as close to the bend as it will go. Connect the battery with the coil so that each current is running both coils at the same time. And so that one end of the bar is north pole and the other south pole. Now you have an electric magnet. Ed wants you to make an electromagnet with both poles at one side of the magnetic core. Parallel wraps have a stronger magnetic field. Ed has you wrap an electromagnet in a parallel wrap making opposite poles on the horseshoe core. To summarize, one, Ed says that all electrical currents are magnetic currents. They are dual magnetic currents of opposite polarity running in a bipolar fashion. It also states that the magnetic particles are faster than the speed of light because all light is produced by the restriction of the magnetic particles which slows the magnetic particles down and because all closed circuits have a potential difference which attract each other when there is only one polarity alone there is no attraction therefore no magnetic current flow. Two. Ed is saying with his perpetual motion holder he can demonstrate an electromagnet and how a transformer works and how a generator works and how the magnetic particles when ran at the proper geometry can circulate indefinitely in an orbit and power can be conserved and extracted at will at some time in the future. Three. Ed wants you to make an electromagnet with both poles at one side of the magnetic core. 4. Ed has you wrap the electromagnet in a parallel wrap, making opposite poles on the horseshoe core. We will be continuing the experiments in episode 9.
sight in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. There is no dark side in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. There is no dark side in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. There is no dark side in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. There is no dark side in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. There is no dark side in the moon, really.